You search through this video because you want to know how to import or export make.com formally in Tegramat apps. So first of all, what we always do is we start with the SDK. You're well probably known with this SDK. You build some apps or you want to build some apps and you maybe want to import or export an app template. Anyway, this is your starting point. So instead of just copy pasting all the JSON files you build in your make app, you can do one simple thing to export and import your make.com formerly Integromat app. You install the Integromat apps SDK. Once you've installed it and you go in your Visual Code Studio, you have, of course, to install Visual Code Studio previously. I assume you've done this and I assume that you set up the account here um, in the bottom left corner correctly. This is not topic of the video. If you want me to make another video about how to set up an API account to use Visual Code Studio plugin or any other thing via API, I'm happy to do this. But right now, let's really focus on exporting the app. So once this is loaded, we'll see all the apps within our account, which are developed, listed on the left sidebar. And here we can see we'll click on export app. And once you click export app, it will ask you where to save the app. You just say, okay, let's go in my download folder, the master folder of everything. And yeah, this is gonna take some seconds to export. I actually choose a tiny app, which does not have many configurations if we would export the one says app. I mean, you can simply open one says in make and you're gonna see it says a ton of modules. So it's gonna take some time. Now this is done. The DBL has been exported and yeah, you simply go here, you go again on your download folder and yep, this is how you can import DBL. I'm not going to import it because then I have the app duplicated in my account, but you just click import, you run through the settings there, you import the app, you have it in your account, you can see it online. Just giving you some hint here, if you are working sometimes online in the app editor in the browser, and you are sometimes working in here, it might cause some bugs if you have it open the same time. So either work in the browser or close the browser and work in Visual Studio Code or close Visual Studio Code and tackle my plugin and then work in the browser. We fucked up a lot of apps. So that's just so you know. And yep, this is how we import and export apps.